John watched as his family continued to grow and thrive. The cafe became a cherished spot in the neighborhood, with locals and visitors alike coming for the warmth and the sense of community he fostered there. Javier, now a high schooler, pursued his passion for baseball with fierce dedication, and John was at every game, cheering him on. Javier's determination reminded John of himself, and the pride he felt watching his son's achievements filled him with gratitude. Emma, after the success of her book, was offered a position with a non-profit organization focused on helping foster children find loving homes. She moved back to the city, thrilled to be close to her family again while doing work that fulfilled her. John and Sarah were delighted to have her nearby once more. Emma often visited the cafe, pitching in and chatting with the regulars who had watched her grow up, her presence a joyful reminder of how far they had all come. One cool, autumn evening, as they gathered for dinner, Emma excitedly shared her latest project with the family. Dad, I've been developing a mentorship program for foster youth, creating a network of reliable role models for them, she explained, her passion lighting up her face. I was wondering, would you consider being a mentor? John felt a wave of emotion, deeply touched. Emma, I'd be honored, he replied sincerely. If I can help even one child feel the love I've been able to give you, it would mean the world to me. The mentorship program soon became a family endeavor. Javier volunteered as a youth baseball coach, his kindness and talent making him a natural mentor. Sarah offered her healthcare expertise, providing resources and advice to families in the program. With Emma's dedication and her family's support, the mentorship program began transforming lives across the community. On the program's first anniversary, a celebration was held at John's Cafe. Friends, family, and neighbors gathered to mark the occasion. The cafe buzzed with laughter and gratitude, and as John looked around, he realized how much they'd built together, from a single night when he'd found Emma to this moment, surrounded by love and purpose. Emma raised it a toast, her voice filled with warmth. To family, she said, smiling at each person who had been part of their journey. To the love that built this family and the strength that carries us forward. John lifted his glass, his heart full. To Emma, who made me a father, and to all of you who made this life complete. As they clinked glasses, John felt the peace he'd always hoped for. This was his greatest achievement, a family bound by love and a community touched by kindness. Whatever the future held, he knew they would face it together, with open hearts and unwavering strength. As time went on, John's family continued to flourish, filled with joy and purpose. Emma had become deeply involved in her nonprofit work, helping foster children find loving and safe homes. She devoted herself to building new programs, developing initiatives that helped these children grow, always mindful of the support her own family had given her. Meanwhile, Javier kept working hard toward his dream of becoming a professional baseball player. During every game, he saw his father in the stands, his eyes full of pride. Their bond grew stronger with each season, and Javier always looked to John for guidance and encouragement. One spring evening, as the family gathered together, Emma shared a new idea. I've been thinking about writing another book, but this time it'll be about our family's story, she said with a warm smile, her eyes lighting up. She explained that she wanted to share the hardships and sacrifices John and Sarah had made to create this family, hoping the story would inspire others. John sat there, looking at his daughter, his heart swelling with emotion. Emma. I'm so proud of you. If our story can help someone else find hope, then I'll support you all the way. Over the following months, Emma worked tirelessly to complete the book. Whenever she faced challenges, she would turn to John, and his stories of their journey reminded her why this story mattered so much. As Emma poured her heart into writing, she spent countless evenings at John's cafe, surrounded by familiar faces who had watched her grow up. 
John would bring her coffee and sit nearby, reading quietly or sharing memories that helped her capture the family's journey on paper. Javier would occasionally drop by after practice, jokingly reminding Emma not to make him sound too heroic in the book. The family's laughter filled the cafe, drawing smiles from customers who had become an extension of their family. When Emma's book was finally published, it resonated deeply with readers, capturing the resilience, love, and courage that defined her family's story. As word of the book spread, local media reached out for interviews, and the community celebrated the family whose journey had become an inspiration. The cafe saw an influx of new visitors, all eager to see the place where Emma's story began and to meet the family who had shown them what love and perseverance could achieve. One evening, as they celebrated the success of the book at home, Emma surprised her parents with a heartfelt speech. Dad, Mom, none of this would have been possible without you. You taught me that family isn't just about where we come from, but about who we choose to stand by, no matter what. I hope this book brings the world a fraction of the kindness and strength you've given me. John's eyes filled with tears as he hugged his daughter, feeling both pride and gratitude for the life they had built together. He remembered the night he found Emma, helpless and alone, and marveled at how that moment had transformed into this. A family filled with love, laughter, and an unbreakable bond. As the years went on, the family's impact continued to grow. Emma's work in the nonprofit expanded, helping countless children find hope, and she even began a scholarship fund in her mother Angela's name, honoring the woman whose sacrifice had made her life possible. Javier, encouraged by his family's unwavering support, pursued a college baseball scholarship, his future bright with possibility. In every milestone, every quiet family moment, John felt an overwhelming sense of fulfillment. He knew that life had tested him in ways he hadn't expected, yet each challenge had led to this, a family that was strong, compassionate, and truly at peace. And as he looked around at the family he'd fought to protect and cherish, John understood that, no matter what the future held, they would face it together, with open hearts and unwavering love. As Emma's book gained momentum, Invitations began pouring in for speaking engagements, and she traveled to conferences and community events to share her family's story. At each stop, she spoke about love, resilience, and the incredible impact of family, often mentioning the night her father, John, had found her. Her words reached countless people, and she received heartfelt letters from readers some of whom shared their own experiences of adoption or the challenges of growing up in the foster system. Her story inspired hope and connection, and Emma felt deeply fulfilled knowing her family's journey was making a difference. Meanwhile, Javier excelled in college, balancing his studies with baseball and becoming a respected leader on his team. He often called John after games, sharing his excitement and challenges. Knowing his family was always cheering him on gave him a sense of confidence and grounding. The support of his parents and sister made him feel that, no matter how big the stage or difficult the moment, he always had a place to call home. Back at the cafe, John and Sarah continued to foster a sense of community. Regulars came by, not only for coffee and food, but to be part of the atmosphere of warmth and acceptance that John and Sarah created. On weekends, the cafe was filled with laughter and storytelling, friends becoming family, all brought together by the kindness of the couple who had opened their doors and hearts to everyone. One chilly winter evening, as the family gathered for the holidays, Emma and Javier surprised John and Sarah with a gift a handmade scrapbook filled with photos, letters, and memories from their lives. Each page was filled with milestones from Emma's first day at school to Javier's college games, family vacations, and quiet moments at home. As John flipped through the pages, his eyes misted over with emotion. Here, captured in one book, was the story of their lives, 
a testament to the love that had carried them through every joy and hardship. Thank you both, John said, his voice thick with emotion. This is the most beautiful reminder of what we've built together. I couldn't be prouder or more grateful. Emma and Javier exchanged smiles, their hearts full as they sat beside their parents, feeling the quiet strength of their family bond. They spent the night laughing, sharing memories, and looking toward the future. A future that they knew would be filled with the same love, resilience, and hope that had defined their journey together. No matter what lay ahead, John felt at peace. His heart was filled with the certainty that his family would continue to thrive, their story an unbreakable testament to the power of love. And with Sarah, Emma, and Javier by his side, he knew that together they could face anything the world had to offer. As the years continued to pass, John and Sarah watched their children blossom into adulthood. Emma, thriving in her nonprofit career, continued advocating for foster children and families, working tirelessly to make systemic changes that would help children find the stability and love she had experienced with John and Sarah. Her passion only grew, and she became a well-known voice in the field, often called upon to consult and inspire others. Her work extended into workshops, support groups, and policy changes, each step making a tangible impact on countless lives. Javier, meanwhile, went on to fulfill his dreams of playing baseball at a professional level. He had earned a reputation not just for his skill on the field, but also for his humility and dedication, traits instilled in him by his family. His fans adored him for his heart as much as for his talent, and he often spoke about the strength he drew from his parents and sister. Even with a demanding career, he always made time to visit home, reminding himself of the family who had grounded him through every stage of his life. One summer evening, the family gathered at the cafe for a celebration, a community event dedicated to honoring Emma and Javier's achievements. The cafe was brimming with friends, family, neighbors, and even some of Javier's fans and Emma's colleagues. John and Sarah looked around, humbled by the overwhelming support for their children. John took a moment to speak, his voice warm and steady as he addressed the crowd. None of this would have been possible without the love that surrounded us. From the moment I found Emma, our lives have been blessed by the kindness of this community and the strength of our family. Sarah and I are endlessly proud of the people our children have become, and we're grateful to all of you for sharing this journey with us. The crowd erupted in applause, and Emma and Javier joined their parents, wrapping them in a tight embrace. Sarah wiped a tear from her cheek, feeling the weight of every hardship and joy that had led them here to this moment of celebration and unity. As the night went on, Emma, Javier, John, and Sarah stood together, looking out at the people who had become part of their family's story. They were reminded of the years of love, resilience, and connection that had built the foundation of their lives. And while the future remained unwritten, they faced it with a quiet, unwavering strength, knowing that together they had created a legacy of compassion and love that would carry them forward no matter what lay ahead. In the years that followed, John and Sarah continued to watch over their family with pride, each new chapter a reminder of the journey that had brought them together, and as their story continued, they remained bound by the love that had transformed them all, leaving an indelible mark on everyone fortunate enough to be a part of their lives. As the years continued, John and Sarah found themselves settling into a slower, more peaceful pace of life. They often spent their days at the cafe, welcoming familiar faces and enjoying quiet moments together. Emma's nonprofit work expanded nationally, and she became a leader in advocating for foster children's rights and welfare. Her passion for creating positive change kept her busy, and though she traveled often, she always found her way back home to her family, grounded by the love and support they had given her since day one. Javier, Meanwhile, balanced his baseball career with his dedication to his family and community.
He invested in local youth programs, coaching kids, and offering mentorship that gave them the same guidance he had received from his father. His heart remained tied to his roots, and he frequently visited the cafe, often accompanied by young fans eager to hear his stories and advice. One autumn afternoon, as John and Sarah sat on the porch, they shared memories of their journey, how life had changed from the day John had found Emma, to the arrival of Javier, to the endless milestones and joys that had filled their years together. Their hearts were full, knowing they had built a legacy of love and resilience, passed down through every lesson and every embrace. On a particularly special evening, the family gathered once more for an intimate celebration. Emma had brought a few close friends from her organization, and Javier's teammates joined the small circle, everyone seated around a fire pit in the backyard, surrounded by laughter and warmth. As stories of shared memories were passed around, Emma leaned close to her father. Dad, I want you to know how much you mean to me, she said quietly, her eyes bright with gratitude. Every time I speak to foster kids, I tell them about you, the man who showed me what family really is. I'm proud to be your daughter. John's eyes filled with tears, his heart overflowing with pride and love. He pulled her into a hug, his voice soft. Emma, having you and Javier in my life has been my greatest blessing. You both have given my life meaning beyond anything I could have imagined. As the fire crackled and the stars shone above, John looked around at the faces of his family and friends, realizing that his journey had come full circle. Each person there carried a piece of his heart, woven together by the strength of their love. He and Sarah had built a life that would forever touch the lives of others, and in that moment, he knew their legacy would live on. In the years that followed, John and Sarah continued to watch over their family with quiet joy. Emma's work impacted thousands, and Javier's dedication inspired countless young athletes. Their family's story became a guiding light for others, a testament to the power of love, resilience, and the bonds that hold us together. As the seasons continued to pass, John and Sarah embraced their roles as pillars in their community, guiding those around them with warmth and wisdom. Emma's nonprofit organization grew internationally, and she became a voice for foster children's rights on a global stage. She established scholarships, mentorship programs, and partnerships with organizations worldwide, fulfilling the promise she had made to herself to be a source of hope and stability for others. Despite her busy life, Emma always returned home to reconnect with her family and the place that had given her strength. Javier's baseball career also reached new heights, and he used his platform to support Emma's initiatives. He became a spokesperson for foster youth, traveling to schools and community centers to inspire children, sharing his own journey and the role his family played in his life. His humility and compassion earned him widespread respect, and he remained deeply connected to his roots, even as his career took him to new cities and countries. One winter, as a special tribute to their parents, Emma and Javier arranged a surprise celebration for John and Sarah at the cafe. Friends, family, and community members gathered to honor them, filling the cozy space with warmth and appreciation. Photos lined the walls, capturing moments from John and Sarah's journey. Emma's adoption, Javier's first baseball game, family vacations, and countless joyful memories shared over the years. Emma stood up to speak, her voice filled with emotion as she looked at her parents. Mom, Dad, everything I am is because of you. You taught us the meaning of family, of sacrifice, and love that doesn't waver. This cafe, this community, our family, everything we have is because of your strength and kindness. Javier joined her, placing a hand on his father's shoulder. Dad, you taught me how to be a man of character, and Mom, you showed me what compassion really is. 
I hope we can be even half the parents you've been to us. John and Sarah exchanged a glance, their hearts full, as they took in the love that surrounded them. John cleared his throat, his voice steady, but filled with pride. Thank you, Emma and Javier. Watching you both become the people you are today has been the greatest joy of our lives. Sarah and I, we couldn't be prouder or more grateful. As the night continued, the family shared stories, laughter, and dreams for the future. They knew that no matter where life took them, their family bond would always be a source of strength and love. John and Sarah cherished each moment, grateful for the legacy they had built and for the memories they would continue to create. In the years that followed, John and Sarah enjoyed the quiet fulfillment of seeing their family carry forward the values they had worked so hard to instill. They found peace in knowing that their love story, one that began with a single act of compassion, had woven a tapestry of hope that touched countless lives. And as Emma and Javier continued their journeys, the spirit of John and Sarah's legacy of love, resilience, and unity remained unbreakable, lighting the way for generations to come. As John and Sarah moved into their later years, they found immense fulfillment in the life they had built and the impact their family continued to make. Emma's nonprofit organization, A Home of Hope, had become a powerful force in the world of foster care advocacy. Emma's tireless work had created pathways for children across the globe to find stability, education, and love. She traveled to dozens of countries, speaking to governments, organizing support systems, and building partnerships with local charities to provide mentorship and safe homes for children in need. Yet, no matter how far she traveled, Emma always made time to come back to the cafe, to the warm, familiar space where her life's journey had begun. She and John would sit together over coffee, sharing stories of their work. John would listen intently as she recounted the lives she'd touched, the obstacles she had overcome, and the children who looked to her for hope. She spoke often of a young girl she'd met who reminded her of herself, lost, yearning for connection, and wary of trusting others. Emma had taken her under her wing, mentoring her through high school and into college, and eventually guiding her into her own career as a social worker. Each time they talked, John's heart swelled with pride, knowing his daughter's work had far surpassed his dreams for her. Meanwhile, Javier's baseball career blossomed as well. After years of dedication and countless hours on the field, he was selected to join a major league team. He became a fan favorite, not just for his talent, but for the humble, generous way he carried himself. Despite the fame and demanding schedule, Javier stayed deeply rooted in his values and his love for family. On his days off, he returned home to spend time with John, Sarah, and Emma, soaking in the laughter and stories that filled their home. But Javier's commitment to giving back was as steadfast as his love for baseball. He invested a large portion of his earnings into the foundation Emma had created, funding scholarships for foster children who wanted to pursue sports or education. He frequently visited youth centers where he would play pickup games with kids, share advice, and inspire them to dream big despite their circumstances. Children across the country looked up to him, not just as a sport star, but as someone who understood their struggles and genuinely cared. One spring, Emma and Javier decided it was time to honor their parents' legacy in a lasting way. They proposed expanding a home of hope to include a new initiative, the John and Sarah Miller Foundation, which would create safe spaces for foster youth fund educational programs, and offer mental health support. They wanted the foundation to reflect the values their parents had taught them, compassion, resilience, and unwavering commitment to doing what's right. Emma and Javier presented their idea to John and Sarah on a bright Sunday afternoon at the cafe. Emma began, her eyes brimming with love. Mom, Dad, 
Everything we've accomplished is because of you. We want to carry your legacy forward by helping even more families find love and stability, just like you gave us. She held up a folder with the Foundation's logo, two hands holding a heart, a symbol of the care John and Sarah had always provided. John was speechless, and tears filled his eyes as he looked at the symbol that would carry his family's love into the future. I... I don't know what to say, he managed, his voice choked with emotion. You both have made our lives so rich. I never could have imagined this when I found you, Emma. And now, you're building something that will change the lives of so many. Sarah, who rarely showed her emotions so openly, wiped a tear from her cheek. You both are incredible. This means more to us than words can express. We're so proud of you. She hugged them both, grateful for the kindness and strength that had flourished in their family. The foundation launch became a momentous occasion in their town. Friends, family, and community members gathered at the cafe to celebrate, with news outlets covering the story. The town, which had watched the Miller family's journey from the beginning, now saw how far they had come. John and Sarah were touched by the outpouring of love and support, humbled by the community's gratitude for the work their family had done. In the years that followed, the Foundation's work expanded. John and Sarah volunteered at the local foster centers, often spending their weekends mentoring children and providing guidance to foster families. They became a beacon of hope for children and parents alike, sharing stories of their own family's trials and triumphs and offering a listening ear to anyone who needed it. As the Foundation grew, Emma began writing another book, one that chronicled not only her life, but the lives of those she had helped through her work. She interviewed foster parents, social workers, and former foster youth weaving their stories into a tapestry that illustrated the power of compassion and resilience. This second book brought Emma's message to an even larger audience, becoming a bestseller that inspired discussions, support groups, and movements advocating for foster children's rights. Javier, though busy with his baseball career, never stopped supporting the Foundation. When he wasn't on the field, he used his platform to promote the Foundation's mission, sharing stories of the lives it had changed and encouraging his fans to get involved. He hosted charity games where fans could watch him play alongside foster youth, and the proceeds went directly to the Foundation. Javier's dedication and kindness became as well known as his athletic talent. and he inspired countless young athletes to give back to their communities. In their later years, John and Sarah saw the world their family had built expand far beyond anything they could have imagined. The foundation, Emma's books, and Javier's outreach had created a legacy that touched thousands of lives, a legacy that would continue long after they were gone. Together, they had transformed a single act of compassion into a ripple of kindness that spread across communities, generations, and continents. One summer evening, as they all gathered once more at the cafe, John looked around at his family, feeling a profound sense of peace. Emma was speaking with a group of volunteers, Javier was surrounded by a few kids eager for his autograph, and Sarah sat beside him, watching with a serene smile. John took her hand, grateful for the journey they had shared. Sarah, he whispered, Look at what we've done. I could never have dreamed of this life. She squeezed his hand, her gaze warm and loving. It's all because of you, John. You started this with one act of kindness, and now look how many lives have been touched. I'm so proud of you. They sat together, soaking in the laughter, the love, and the vibrant energy around them. Their family's legacy, built on love and resilience, would carry on long into the future. And as the sun set on that warm, summer evening, John knew that, no matter what lay ahead, his family would face it together, strengthened by the unbreakable bonds they had forged. As the years continued, John and Sarah's legacy only grew deeper and more profound, touching lives far beyond their small town.
The John and Sarah Miller Foundation blossomed into a national organization with chapters across the country dedicated to supporting foster youth and their families. Emma became a revered figure in the field, known for her relentless passion and dedication, her work inspiring new laws and policies to protect and support children in the foster system. She traveled often, speaking at universities, conferences, and even government events, yet she always returned to the cafe, to her parents and brother, to the place where her story began. For Javier, life on the field eventually evolved into a new role as a mentor and coach. He had made his mark as a successful athlete, but felt drawn to something deeper, helping young athletes find their own paths, especially those from underprivileged backgrounds. He started his own youth baseball league, open to any child who wanted to join, regardless of financial means. With his influence and connections, he built a program that provided equipment, coaching, and training for free. The league became a place where children found friendship, mentorship, and community. Javier instilled in them the values his parents had taught him. Determination, kindness, and the belief that everyone deserves a chance to pursue their dreams. One spring evening, as John and Sarah prepared for another gathering at the cafe, they reflected on the journey that had brought them here. The cafe itself had become a symbol of the family's love and commitment, a place where community members came not just for coffee, but to feel connected, inspired, and welcomed. People of all ages came to the cafe seeking advice, sharing stories, or simply to sit in the warm, comforting space John and Sarah had built. They had come full circle, offering others the same stability and acceptance they had once fought so hard to provide for Emma and Javier. As the family gathered that evening, Emma and Javier shared an exciting announcement. Emma, her face glowing with joy, spoke first. Mom, Dad, we've decided to create an annual scholarship in your names, dedicated to foster youth who want to pursue careers in social work, education, and community leadership. Javier continued, It'll be called the Heart of Hope Scholarship, and every year it will go to young people who share our family's mission of giving back. John's eyes filled with tears as he looked at his children, his heart swelling with pride and gratitude. I can't believe how far we've come, seeing you both carrying this forward. It's more than I could have ever dreamed. The first scholarship award ceremony was held that summer at the cafe, attended by friends, family, and community members. The recipients were young people full of ambition and compassion, inspired by the Miller family's journey and eager to make their own mark on the world. As they accepted their scholarships, they shared their dreams of helping others, each one a testament to the impact John and Sarah had made. In the following years, Emma's nonprofit expanded internationally, and she worked alongside other leaders in the field to establish partnerships in various countries. Her foundation set up mentorship programs, housing initiatives, and educational resources for foster youth around the world. She found herself standing in front of global audiences, her message of hope reaching people from all walks of life. Everywhere she went, she shared her parents' story explaining how one act of kindness had blossomed into a legacy of compassion. Javier's Youth League also grew, with programs spreading across several states. His league offered not only sports training, but also mentorship and support for kids who needed a guiding hand. Javier often held community events to bring families together, inviting children and their parents to celebrate their achievements, knowing that family was the core of any child's success. One evening, years after they had first met, John and Sarah sat on their porch, looking out at the quiet street lined with trees and memories. Their home had become a sanctuary, filled with framed photos, letters from children they had mentored, and gifts from people whose lives they had touched. John took Sarah's hand, their fingers intertwined as they thought of all they had built together. We've had quite a life, haven't we, Sarah? John said, his voice soft, 
yet filled with wonder. Sarah nodded, her eyes bright with love. I wouldn't trade a single moment, John. What we've created with Emma and Javier, it's more than I ever imagined. As they sat in silence, lost in thought, they heard the laughter of children echoing down the street, children heading home from Javier's league practice, carrying bats and gloves, their faces bright with joy. John and Sarah smiled, feeling a deep peace settle over them. Their family story had not only changed their lives, but had created a ripple that would extend for generations. Emma and Javier had taken the love and strength their parents had given them and turned it into a legacy that would continue to grow. The John and Sarah Miller Foundation would carry on, supporting and nurturing young people, ensuring that John and Sarah's dream would live on long after they were gone. On a golden autumn afternoon, as the family gathered at the cafe for what had become their annual reunion, Emma and Javier, surrounded by their own children and extended family, toasted to the future. They spoke of their parents, of the love that had sustained them, and of the home that had given them purpose. And as they raised their glasses, John and Sarah looked around, overwhelmed by gratitude for a life filled with love, resilience, and the knowledge that their legacy would forever be a beacon of hope. In that moment, John understood that everything they had gone through, the hardships, the triumphs, the sacrifices, had been worth it. For in each child they had helped, in every life they had touched, in the laughter that filled the room, their love lived on. And as they watched their children carry forward the work they had started, John and Sarah knew, without a doubt, that their story would continue, carried forward by love, strength, and the family they had built together. Years passed, and John and Sarah embraced their roles as the heart of their growing family. Emma's foundation, a home of hope, had not only expanded but become a global organization that touched lives in countless communities worldwide. She continued to advocate for foster children and families, meeting with government officials, charities, and communities across continents. Her foundation's programs provided mentorship, education, and resources for youth who had once felt lost or forgotten. Despite her accomplishments, Emma remained humble and grounded, always returning to her family's cafe, to John and Sarah, to recharge and reconnect. Javier's Youth League flourished as well, growing into a nationwide program that reached underprivileged children across the country. He retired from professional baseball and became a full-time coach and mentor, helping thousands of children discover their potential on and off the field. His league focused not just on sports, but on instilling life skills, values, and a sense of belonging, lessons Javier had learned from his parents and now passed on to a new generation. One summer, the Miller family gathered at the cafe for a special announcement. Emma and Javier had both felt the urge to honor their parents in an even bigger way. With John and Sarah's blessing, they planned to open a new community center. The Miller Family Center for Hope and Resilience, located near their hometown. The center would serve foster youth, low-income families, and anyone in need of a safe place to gather, learn, and find support. It would offer after-school programs, mentorship, counseling, and job training. Everything Emma and Javier knew could make a difference in a young person's life. As they shared their plans with the family and friends gathered at the cafe, John and Sarah could barely contain their emotions. John looked at his children with tears in his eyes his heart swelling with pride. You've both created something so beautiful, something that will help so many people. Sarah and I, we couldn't be prouder. This center will be a true home for so many, just like this cafe has been for us. Sarah nodded, wiping away tears as she took her husband's hand. You've taken what we've given you and built something that goes beyond our dreams. We're so grateful to be part of this journey with you. The center opened to great celebration, drawing supporters and volunteers from across the country. At the ribbon-cutting ceremony, Emma spoke about her family's journey, her voice filled with warmth and gratitude as she recounted how her parents' love had transformed her life. My father found me when I had no one, 
and my mother welcomed me into her heart. Together, they taught me that family is built on love and resilience. This center is our way of sharing that gift with others. Javier followed, his words filled with the same reverence. My parents have shown us that the truest success lies in lifting others up. This center is a testament to their dedication, to their belief that every child deserves a family and a place to feel safe. John and Sarah stood by, beaming with pride as the crowd cheered, and the ribbon was cut, symbolizing the beginning of a new chapter in their family's legacy. The Miller Family Center for Hope and Resilience quickly became a cornerstone of the community. It was filled with laughter, learning, and the joyful sounds of children discovering a place where they belonged. Volunteers from near and far poured their hearts into the work, all inspired by the Miller family's story. As the years went on, John and Sarah spent much of their time at the center, mentoring youth, guiding parents, and sharing their story with anyone who needed hope. They watched as children who had once been shy and withdrawn found their confidence, as families struggling to stay together found resources and support, and as lives transformed before their eyes. The center became a beacon of hope, not only for the community but for people everywhere who heard about the Miller family's story. In their quiet moments, John and Sarah reflected on the journey that had brought them here. From the night John found Emma to this moment, surrounded by a thriving family and a community they had helped build, they knew their lives had been filled with purpose. They took comfort in knowing that Emma, Javier, and now their grandchildren would carry forward the work they had begun. One evening, at the annual celebration for the Foundation, Emma gathered her family on stage to thank them publicly. She spoke of the challenges they had faced, the love they had shared, and the enduring impact her parents' kindness had left on the world. Her words captured the essence of the Miller family's legacy, a legacy that had grown from a single act of compassion into a life-changing movement. This family taught me that love is the most powerful force we have. It can heal, uplift, and transform. My parents didn't just save my life. They gave me a purpose, a calling, and a family that I cherish more than anything in this world. Javier took his turn, his voice thick with emotion. Every success I have had, every life I have been able to touch, is because of you, Mom and Dad. You taught me that the greatest strength lies in lifting others up. Everything I am, I owe to you. As they hugged their parents on stage, John and Sarah felt a profound sense of fulfillment. They had lived a full life, one dedicated to love, kindness, and resilience, and they knew their legacy would carry on through the lives they had touched. And as they watched their children continue their work, they knew that the impact of their love would ripple out for generations to come. In their later years, John and Sarah continued to be pillars of strength for their family and community. The cafe remained a beloved place where people gathered to share stories, find comfort, and celebrate life's simple joys. The center grew, and with it, the reach of their family's influence. And as they sat together, watching their grandchildren play, they knew that they had created something truly lasting. When the time eventually came for John and Sarah to say goodbye, their family and community came together to honor their legacy. The cafe was filled with people whose lives they had touched, each person carrying forward a part of the Miller family's love. Emma and Javier took up the mantle, continuing the work their parents had started, dedicating themselves to the causes their family had cherished. John and Sarah's story became a cherished tale in the community, told and retold by those who had known them. Their legacy lived on in the foundation, the community center, and the countless lives they had transformed. And, as each new generation carried their story forward, they knew that John and Sarah's love would continue to inspire and uplift, a beacon of hope that would never fade. In the end, John and Sarah's life together 
was a testament to the power of love, resilience, and the belief that family is the greatest treasure one can ever hold. Their legacy was a gift to the world, a legacy of love that would endure forever. In the years that followed John and Sarah's passing, their legacy continued to grow, woven deeply into the fabric of the community they had nurtured. Emma and Javier became the stewards of their parents' vision, each dedicating their lives to carrying forward the love and resilience John and Sarah had instilled in them. Emma, now a seasoned leader in social work and child advocacy, continued expanding a home of hope, which had become one of the most respected organizations supporting foster youth worldwide. She established new programs focusing on mental health support, life skills training, and scholarships for higher education, ensuring that every child in the foster system had a chance not only to survive, but to thrive. Emma's work brought her to new places, but she always remained connected to her roots, often returning to her hometown to mentor and inspire the youth she once was herself. Her speeches drew large audiences, and she often began by sharing her parents' story. My father taught me that a single act of kindness can transform lives, and my mother showed me that love can build a family from the unlikeliest beginnings. This work is my way of honoring them, of making sure that every child feels seen, valued, and loved. Javier, meanwhile, turned his full attention to the youth league he had established, Miller League of Dreams, which had grown beyond his hometown to other cities and communities. The league became a symbol of hope for children in need of mentorship and encouragement. Javier poured himself into his work, coaching, mentoring, and even inviting former players who had gone on to success to come back and inspire the next generation. One summer to honor his parents' commitment to education and opportunity, Javier launched the John and Sarah Miller Leadership Camp. Each year, he invited young athletes from around the country to spend a week learning not just sportsmanship, but also the values of empathy, teamwork, and community. His goal was to teach them the same lessons his parents had taught him, that true strength lies in compassion, and that success is most meaningful when shared. Emma and Javier made a tradition of gathering at the cafe each year on their parents' anniversary. Surrounded by the people who had shared their family's journey, they would sit on the porch, reminiscing about the laughter, love, and memories they had built there. The cafe remained a beloved landmark, a place where everyone felt welcome, and its walls were filled with photos of John and Sarah, reminders of the legacy they had left behind. On one, particularly special, Anniversary, Emma, and Javier, were joined by their children, John and Sarah's grandchildren, who had grown up hearing stories of their grandparents' lives and the impact they had left on the world. As they sat together, Emma shared a letter she had found among her father's belongings. In it, John had written down his hopes and dreams for his family, describing how he had found Emma that fateful night and how that moment had changed his life forever. My only wish, John had written, is that our family will always hold love at its center. I hope our children, and their children after them, will carry forward the kindness, strength, and courage that built our home. May this love continue to spread, bringing light to others in need. And may our family always be a source of hope. As Emma finished reading, tears filled their eyes, and Javier placed a hand on his sister's shoulder. They knew that their father's wish had come true, that his love, his and Sarah's legacy, was alive and well, touching lives far beyond what they could have imagined. In the years that followed, Emma and Javier continued to fulfill their parents' dreams, expanding the foundation, the youth league, and the community center. John and Sarah's legacy lived on in every life they touched, every child they uplifted, and every family they helped to strengthen. Their story became a cherished memory for their town and a guiding light for those they had inspired. Generations later, when people gathered at the cafe, now a historical landmark, 
they would hear the story of John and Sarah Miller, the couple who had built a family from love and kindness, whose legacy of compassion changed the lives of thousands. Their story was passed down through the years, retold by community members, shared in classrooms, and celebrated at the Foundation's events. And so, the love that had begun with a single act of kindness grew into an unbreakable legacy woven into the hearts of those who had been touched by it. John and Sarah's love continued to ripple outward, reminding the world that even the smallest acts of compassion could transform lives, that a family built on love could change the world, and that true legacy is measured not in wealth or fame, but in the kindness left behind. And as their family grew, each generation carried forward the Miller family legacy, honoring the love, resilience, and compassion that had built their story and knowing as John had once wished, that their family would forever be a source of light, strength, and hope. As time marched on, the Miller family's legacy became interwoven with the very fabric of their town and community. Emma and Javier grew older, and their own children, John and Sarah's grandchildren, began to take on greater responsibilities within the foundation and community programs. Emma's daughter Amelia had inherited her mother's passion for social work and carried on the mission of a home of hope with a fierce dedication. She expanded the Foundation's outreach, introducing technology-based learning and career mentorship programs that connected foster youth with professionals around the world. Amelia became a powerful advocate for children's rights, frequently speaking at international forums and, like her mother, always referring back to her grandparents' legacy of compassion. Javier's son, Luke, had grown up on the baseball field, listening to stories of his grandfather John and how he'd taught his children about kindness, humility, and the power of resilience. After playing in the youth league himself, Luke took on a coaching role as a young adult and eventually became the director of the Miller League of Dreams. He focused on creating scholarships for kids from underserved communities, ensuring that no child would be turned away due to lack of funds. Luke would often tell his players, My grandparents taught us that family means more than blood. It's about choosing to stand together, lift each other up, and give back. One summer, Amelia and Luke decided to honor their grandparents in a special way by organizing a day of service in John and Sarah's memory. They invited everyone in the town to join, from teenagers to retirees, to volunteer in different service projects across the community. They painted murals, cleaned parks, built new playgrounds, and hosted sports workshops for kids. At the end of the day, everyone gathered at the cafe, now lovingly preserved as a community center and museum dedicated to the Miller family legacy. Emma and Javier, now in their later years, watched with pride as their children took on leadership roles and carried forward the values that John and Sarah had instilled in them. Standing in the cafe, surrounded by old friends, family, and community members, they marveled at the life their parents' love had inspired. Emma placed a hand on her brother's shoulder, her eyes filled with gratitude. Javier, can you believe? How far this has come? Mom and Dad would be so proud to see all of this, she said, her voice soft with emotion. Javier nodded, looking around at the cafe's walls lined with photos, letters, and memories of their family. They'd be overjoyed, Emma. They built a foundation of love that's still changing lives, even now. And seeing our kids? and this community carry that forward. It's more than I ever dreamed. As they shared a quiet moment together, Amelia stepped forward with a microphone, inviting the crowd to gather. She held up an old photograph of John and Sarah, smiling arm in arm on the cafe's porch. Today, we honor the incredible legacy of my grandparents, who showed us all what it means to live with kindness and purpose, she began. They taught us that even the smallest act of compassion can create ripples that touch the lives of so many. This community, this foundation, this family, all of it is because two people believed in love, 
resilience, and the power of giving back. The crowd erupted in applause, and tears filled Emma's eyes as she watched Amelia carry forward the message that had shaped her life. She knew that, through her parents were gone, their spirit would live on through each story. Told, each life changed, and each act of kindness carried out in their name. In the years that followed, the day of service became an annual tradition, drawing volunteers from across the country who had been touched by the Miller family's legacy. The town itself transformed, with parks, schools, and community centers dedicated to John and Sarah, each one a testament to the love that had started with a single act of compassion. The Miller Family Center for Hope and Resilience became a place of sanctuary, guidance, and joy, helping thousands of families and children each year. Decades later, when Amelia and Luke grew old, they passed the torch to their own children, who took up the mantle with pride, honoring the love and dedication of their great-grandparents. The Miller family story continued to be shared in schools, at family gatherings, and on the anniversary of the center's founding, inspiring generations to come. Each descendant carried forward John and Sarah's values, making sure their message of hope reached every corner of the community and beyond. Through all of it, the cafe remained a place where family, friends, and neighbors gathered to reminisce, to find comfort and to celebrate the legacy of love that John and Sarah had left behind. And as each generation carried that love forward, they knew that the Miller family legacy was not just a story, but a living, breathing testament to the power of kindness, compassion, and the enduring strength of family. Their story became legendary, but in the heart of the town, it was a simple truth. That love, shared, passed on, and multiplied, could truly change the world. And so, in each act of kindness, in each life transformed, and in each family strengthened by compassion, John and Sarah Miller's legacy lived on, a beacon of hope for generations yet to come. As the legacy of the Miller family continued through each new generation, the impact of John and Sarah's love spread far beyond their small town. Over the decades, a home of hope grew into one of the most influential nonprofit organizations globally, partnering with governments, NGOs, and community leaders worldwide to advocate for foster youth and provide support to families in need. Amelia, as the organization's leader, saw to it that every initiative remained true to her grandparents' founding principles of compassion, resilience, and community. Meanwhile, Luke expanded the Miller League of Dreams into a nationwide network, with chapters in nearly every state. The league offered not only sports, but also mentorship, life skills programs, and college scholarships for underprivileged children. Luke's influence went beyond the field, reaching into schools, community centers, and youth programs inspiring children everywhere to pursue their dreams and to remember, as he always said, that success means nothing if you don't lift others up along the way. One winter evening, Amelia received an invitation to a major global conference on children's welfare held in Geneva. The invitation included a request for her to give the keynote address. Amelia felt honored and humbled. It was an opportunity to share her family's story with the world, to remind people of the power of a single act of kindness. She reached out to Luke, asking if he would join her. He agreed without hesitation, knowing how proud their grandparents would be to see their legacy reach such a stage. As Amelia took the stage that day, standing before leaders, social workers, and advocates from around the world, she began her speech with the story of her great-grandfather, John. She described the night he had found her mother, Emma, and how that one moment of compassion had transformed their lives. She told of Sarah's unwavering support, and how, together, John and Sarah had built a family on love, resilience, and community. Her words resonated deeply with the audience, many of whom were visibly moved. My grandparents taught me that family isn't just about who you're related to by blood, Amelia said, 
her voice filled with conviction. Family is about love, support, and the belief that together we are stronger. My grandparents built a legacy that now touches thousands of lives, but it started with one small act of kindness, a moment of courage in the face of uncertainty. And that's what I hope to remind each of you today, that every action, no matter how small, has the potential to transform lives. The audience gave her a standing ovation, and afterward, countless attendees approached her, sharing their own stories of inspiration and hope. Many spoke of how they too wanted to create change, to build legacies rooted in compassion and resilience. Luke's portion of the presentation focused on the power of mentorship and the importance of lifting others as one rises. My great-grandparents taught us that success is meaningless unless we use it to help others, he told the audience. The greatest impact we can have isn't through personal achievement, but through empowering others to find their strength, to believe in their potential. After the conference, the siblings received numerous partnership offers, leading to a network of collaborative programs that connected youth leagues and foster care initiatives across continents. The Miller family legacy, once a quiet, personal story, became an international movement, inspiring families, organizations, and communities to build on the foundation of love and resilience that John and Sarah had left behind. Back home, the cafe remained a cherished gathering place, now a historical landmark where people from all over came to learn about the Miller family and the impact of their work. Inside, the walls were adorned with photos spanning generations, letters of thanks from people whose lives had been changed, and stories from volunteers and mentors who had been inspired by John and Sarah's journey. The cafe held annual storytelling nights, where local residents, newcomers, and visitors would share tales of how the Miller legacy had touched their lives or inspired them to give back in their own ways. As Amelia and Luke grew older, they began to pass their responsibilities down to the next generation. Amelia's daughter, Grace, inherited her mother's dedication to social work, and Luke's son, Michael, took after his father's love for sports and community mentorship. The cousins joined forces to modernize the Foundation's programs, introducing digital platforms for education and creating virtual mentorship programs that allowed volunteers to connect with youth from any location. With their fresh ideas, Grace and Michael ensured that the Miller family legacy adapted to the changing world while staying true to the values that John and Sarah had instilled in them. One evening, as Grace and Michael gathered their families at the cafe, they unveiled a new exhibit in honor of their great-grandparents. The exhibit, titled The Ripple Effect, featured a timeline that showed how each generation had built upon John and Sarah's initial act of kindness, expanding it into a worldwide movement. The timeline included interviews, video testimonials, and stories from children, families, and communities who had been uplifted by the Foundation's work. It was a powerful testament to the idea that love, when shared, grows exponentially. Standing beside the exhibit, Grace spoke to her family and friends. Our great-grandparents taught us that love and kindness are the most powerful legacies we can leave. This exhibit is a tribute to them and a reminder that every person here is part of that legacy. Their love built a foundation that will continue to support generations to come. As the years turned into decades, the Miller family continued to grow and adapt, each generation passing down the values of kindness, resilience, and the belief that family is built on love and shared purpose. Through every challenge, they found strength in each other, united by the knowledge that they were carrying forward a legacy far greater than themselves. The Miller legacy became a symbol of hope and strength, a reminder that even the smallest act of kindness could create ripples that would touch countless lives. And in the hearts of every child helped, every family strengthened and every life transformed, John and Sarah Miller's love lived on, a beacon that would shine for generations, lighting the way for all those who believed in the power of compassion and the enduring strength of family.
As the generations of the Miller family continued to grow, their story became a powerful symbol, known far and wide as the Miller Legacy. The foundation that had begun in a humble cafe now had offices in dozens of countries, offering services ranging from foster care support to educational programs, mentorship, and global youth development initiatives. The annual Day of Service that Amelia and Luke had started became a worldwide event, uniting communities across continents to volunteer in honor of John and Sarah's dedication to service. Grace and Michael, now fully immersed in their roles within the foundation, embraced technology and innovation to make the Miller mission accessible to even more people. They established virtual mentorship programs, allowing youth from any location to connect with volunteers and professionals who could guide and support them. With Grace's focus on social work and Michael's dedication to youth athletics, they created initiatives that empowered young people in all walks of life. Their shared dream was to ensure that every child, regardless of background, would have the opportunity to thrive. One day, Grace and Michael organized a global symposium titled Legacy of Love, gathering leaders from various fields to discuss the impact of compassion, resilience, and community. The event's keynote speaker was Grace's daughter, Ella, who, like her ancestors, had embraced her family's mission. As she took the stage, Ella stood before an audience of thousands, her words carrying the weight of her family's story. My great-great-grandparents, John and Sarah Miller, believed that love could change the world. They taught us that family is about who stands by you, who lifts you up, and who gives you a place to belong. We're here today because they showed us that kindness isn't just a gift. It's a responsibility. I hope each of us here can continue to honor their legacy, to create ripples of love that will reach far beyond what we can see. After her speech, attendees shared stories of how the Miller legacy had inspired them. Many spoke of how they had used John and Sarah's example to build their own programs, spread compassion in their communities, and lift others up. The Miller family's story had sparked movements, influenced policy changes, and become a blueprint for those who believed in the power of service and love. Back in their hometown, the cafe remained the heart of the Miller legacy, preserved as a historical landmark and community center. People visited from across the globe to see the place where it all began, to read about John and Sarah's journey, and to feel the warmth of a family that had forever transformed the world. Every year, at the anniversary of the cafe's founding, the Miller family gathered to celebrate their heritage. They would share stories of the past, reflect on their accomplishments, and make plans for the future. The cafe's walls were filled with photographs of each generation, letters of thanks from those whose lives had been touched, and memorabilia from the programs and projects inspired by the Miller mission. One anniversary, as the family gathered at the cafe, Grace and Michael took a moment to address everyone present. Standing before the crowd, Grace held up an old photo of John and Sarah, smiling side by side on the cafe's porch. Everything we've built, every life we've touched, is because of these two incredible people, Grace began, her voice filled with emotion. They taught us that a single act of kindness can create waves that reach farther than we ever imagined. They believed in love, in resilience, and in the strength of community. We're here today to honor them and to carry their legacy forward. Michael stepped up beside her, looking out at the crowd. Our family's mission has always been to lift others up, to offer hope, and to create a place of belonging for those in need. And I believe that as long as we continue to live by these values, we'll be honoring John and Sarah's memory in the truest way possible. The family and friends in attendance rose to their feet, clapping and cheering as Grace and Michael concluded their tribute. Tears filled many eyes, for they knew they were part of something far greater than themselves, a legacy that transcended time and place, built on love and compassion. Afterward, the Miller family gathered for their tradition, sitting on the cafe's porch, sharing memories of John and Sarah. 
the youngest members of the family, still children themselves, listened wide-eyed to stories of the past, of the ancestors who had shaped their lives. Grace's daughter, Ella, leaned in close to listen as her grandmother recounted the story of the night John had found Emma. She felt a spark of inspiration, a sense of pride in her family's journey, and a promise to continue carrying forward the values that had built their legacy. And that's of the Miller legacy. You them the the the. One committed to the mission of love, resilience, and service that John and Sarah had begun. The world had changed since the Millers first opened their cafe, yet their story remained timeless. A reminder that even in the face of hardship, love has the power to overcome, to uplift, and to inspire. And as long as the Miller family continued to honor that legacy, John and Sarah's spirit would live on, a beacon of hope and kindness that would light the way for generations yet to come. I know you'll love Please Don't Miss It. Click here to watch it now. Thank you for joining us on this journey of stories of help love or stories of going out of your way to help someone in need that touches your heart like mine. I have selected another inspirational story. I know you will like it. Please click here to see the next one.